Welcome to today's uh, sales operation planning scenario. Sales operation planning is a corporate planning. In the corporate, the plan for the future, how much we need to make and how the input is being taken to SOP sales operation planning is a planning process. So for this planning process, what would be the input? What would be the output? Okay. So expand logistics, production, SOP, sales operation planning. Expand sales operation planning. Planning, planning for material, create okay the first thing is going to be MC MC 87 so MC 87 is creating a sales plan double click on it and the material the material I'm going to use is 6926. So this is the material material I'm going to use. So it is residing in 3000 plant. Okay. Hit enter. So the version is 93. This is uh, being created automatically. System is generating this number. Hit enter. So right here, the horizontal line sales quantity, production quantity, stock level, target stock level, day supply, target day supply. These are all called key figures. Key figures. Also known as KPI. Key performance indicator. So key performance indicator or key figure is always going to be either a quantity or dollar. Either a quantity or the currency. Okay. So the columns, the vertical columns, these are weekly buckets. Okay. So week 44, then monthly bucket, November, December, Jan, all the way to October 2014. So you have, um, you are doing forecasting or planning or a rough cut plan for the next one year for a key performance indicators such as sales, production for a given key combination of characteristics. The characteristics are material. The value for the characteristic is 6926. Another characteristic is called plant the value is 3000 okay and another characteristic is called version the value is 93 okay so input so we need to first start with the input okay so the the input is going to be create a sales plan. So 
you can create a sales plan for the next one year taking the input from SIS sales information systems where you have historical information or COPA controlling and the profitability analysis COPA is also called budgeting or based on the forecast or from transferring from product group okay the the fourth one you can simply type it you're not getting anything from SIS or COPA or forecast so you can simply type it manual input okay so I'm going to create a sales plan in the month of December. So I'm anticipating that I might have a demand for my product which is the finished product maybe 120 kilograms per tantrum. So since I do not have a stock, it is showing negative. Okay. So in the month of uh, Jan, I'm thinking that situation might improve. So I might have a demand for 180. Okay, 180 plus 120, 300. Okay, so it's all cumulative figure. Okay, so this is called sales plan. Okay, so this sales plan, once you create sales plan, you, you can synchronize it with the production plan okay or you can save it okay you have you can save it or you can continue doing the additional operations additional operations is having created sales plan I'm going to create a production plan the sales guys are saying 120 180 so the production manager production people can you make that 120 180 in those two months yes if it is yes you just synchronize it to the sales plan so you have a production plan a production plan synchronize it to sales plan 120 180 180 you synchronize it the sales folks are saying that let's make 120 production says okay we'll make 120 180 180 okay the next thing is going to be you need to transfer this to the demand management transfer it to the demand management so what is that i'm doing here this is a corporate plan so what is the demand management that is a regional plan so once you push it to the regional manager from the global the regional managers might tweak it if necessary and they will push it to mrp okay so let us transfer this and it is saying if i can save it then only i can move it so let us save it okay so once you save it you can have 
invisible transfer or a visible transfer. So if you uncheck this, it will be visible. That means you can see. And if you uncheck this, it's going to move. It's going to move both active and uh, inactive versions. Okay. So, and uh, the requirement type, the requirement type is LSF, make to stock production. Okay. So, the planning strategy is make to stock. That is the meaning. Now, click on transfer. If you click on this, it's going to transfer. So it's giving you a heads up saying that the 93 version is not active. We know that. Hit enter. Okay. Now it has come to the demand management. Okay. It has come to demand management. So this is something similar to MD61, correct? Demand management. Why MD61? Planned independent requirement, PIR. Okay. Now let us activate it. Make it active version. Once you make active version, save it. Okay. So the requirements for 6926 and plan 3000 is transferred to demand management and it is right there. Okay. So let's go back to our document. Here, what did you do? You created a sales plan you created a sales plan then you have synchronized it sync the sales plan with production plan okay then after that save the plan Save the plan and then transfer the plan to demand management. Okay. Very good. So if you go to MD63, if you go to MD63 display, you, you should see that. Okay. Let's go to MD63. That's my material. That's my plan. Okay. All active, all versions you select. Enter. Okay. You see that? You have 120 and 180. I just created 120 and 180. Okay. They are there. So the next one would be 
go to md04 and take a look at that take a look at that so the next thing would be md04 and take a look at wonderful you see this we have a 120 and 180 okay so you have only 213 stock then again you have all these requirements then with all these requirements it has accumulated negative 242 okay very good so then after that what do you do you run mrp md02 mrp okay let us run mrp open another session Okay, in this session, let us run MRP. Okay, so MRP, you have two, two choice, MD02, you can type it over there, or you can go to menu, and from there also you can go. Okay, so, before you run MRP, check the planning parameters. You need planned orders. This is all good. Everything looks good. Okay. Now hit enter. And it is telling you to check your input parameters once again. I checked it. Everything is in proper shape. Hit enter. It ran MRP for my finished product. As a result, I got planned order. I have planned orders one and two. Okay. Then save. It is planning for the raw material. 6925 is the raw material. Continue and you have some uh, external procurement to procure this raw material. You see these two? Okay, wonderful. Go ahead and save it and you ran MRP successfully. Okay, so what would be the next step? Next step would be procure raw material so in order to procure raw material we need to go to MD04 of MD04 of our raw material what is our raw material 6925 so let's go and take a look at 69 6925 Okay Very good The first step would be convert this planned order into purchase requisition double click create purchase requisition what would be my storage location my storage location is 0001 my vendor 3005 everything is fine go ahead 
and save it. So planned order is converted into purchase requisition. Okay. So now refresh. Okay. You refresh that. Then once you refresh it, the next step would be release this purchase requisition. How do you release it? ME55. Okay. So here what do you do? Convert. Convert planned order into purchase requisition. Okay, then release MD fifty five is released. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Release it. So, in order to release it, you need to know the release code. OR release group RV. Go ahead and execute. So now select all. Save. We're done. So let's go back to the raw material. This is not raw material. This is the raw material. Okay. So from here, you convert the purchase requisition into purchase order. Purchase order. Okay. So the next step would be. Convert purchase requisition into Purchase order. Where do you do that? MD MD zero four only, right? Okay. So this is the guy. This is wrong. Should be three thousand. And um, hamburger. That's also wrong. Three thousand storage location zero 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 one. Okay. Then drag it and drop it. Hold this purchase requisition. Hold it. Drag it and drop it. Okay. So once you drag it and drop it, for some reason, it's creating. Two lines. We don't need this line to so delete that line. Okay, so that's gone. So now, please enter an order quantity. Three thousand okay, so what is the warehouse number let's see zero 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 okay, that's all good. Everything is fine. Go ahead and save it. 
you have a PO, P1 amber, refresh, you have the P1 amber. Okay, very good. Now we need to receive the stock. Correct? So let's receive the stock slash n m i t o enter goods receipt for purchasing eight eight five eight that's the PO number if I'm not wrong eight five eight correct so eight five eight eight five eight enter and save okay if you go to your raw material this is raw material and if you refresh it this will vanish the stock 21 will be added to this you have 62 okay the stock has come very good now since we have stock you can go ahead and produce your product after conversion we need to do the goods receipt M I D O right okay now what we need to do produce the finished product we need to produce the finished product how M D zero four will go to M D zero four of six nine two six not two five. This is a finisher product. Okay. So convert the planned order into production order. Convert planned order into into process order I guess is it process order is it process order or production order okay let's take a look at that material slash n c203 no M M zero three six nine two six. You go to work scheduling view. In the work scheduling view, in the production order. Okay, so production order, finisher product details master recipe okay it's a process order so it's a process order so convert it into convert into process order okay so let us go and convert that into process order which one the finisher product okay this is the scenario before running the MRP if you refresh it okay so this is after running MRP this is the planned order. Double click. 
convert planned order into process order convert planned order into process order what type of order type pi01 enter okay which one you you want to take you can take the first one you want to enter okay so it's a current current date scheduling and let's go and take a look at the master data you have master recipe everything but for some reason i don't see production version here why okay so we have production version master recipe bomb everything so let's go and take a look at them bomb this is the raw material and what would be the storage location 0001 for this material do i have the material availability yes i have do i have the capacity yes i have capacity available at all work centers then calculate the cost schedule the order release the order save the order and now if you refresh it you'll see a process order 701183 is the process order and now the next step for us is goods issue goods is goods issue is done migo migo is nothing but goods issue to process order okay let's do that slash n m i t o enter goods issue process order number 7111183 is it 83 yes 83 Eight one one eight three. Okay. Enter. Seven thousand one one eight three. Seven thousand. Seven thousand one one eight eight three. So it looks like already goods issue is already done. Okay, so goods issue is already done because you take a look at the process order seven zero zero zero. Seven thousand one one eight three. Okay, so if I go and put this number, the goods issue, goods issue, goods issue to the process order, and if I say execute, it's already done. Okay, not a problem. So the next step would be confirmation. C O
star 6 n that would be the confirmation so let's do the confirmation slash n c o r 6 n so what's my process order number 83 what is the phase how many phases I have do I have one two one enter how much is the set of time one hour how much is machine time eight hours labor eight hours how much I'm producing 62 enter save confirmation is same the next step would be goods receipt MIGO so this would be goods goods receipt let's see goods receipt slash n m i g o this is not good issue goods receipt not purchase order order number 701183 execute where do you want to keep it storage location that is the storage location enter save you produced it right so let's go and take a look at the stock requirements of the finished product okay so since I produced it this will go 62 will be added to 213 refresh that's gone it's added you see that so now I have 275 that is the total stock available so what I can do now I can create a sales order for 275 quantity why I have that much of stock okay who is my customer 3000 ship to 3000 the product 6926 how much 275 which plant 3000 enter so when will be my date of delivery click on shipping the delivery is promised on 15th November going out from shipping point 3000 edit incomplete log everything is fine save it We have a sales order now if I go and take a look at my finished product okay and if I refresh it I should see my sales order for 275 okay I have a I have an order for 275 
say this? This is the order 275. So 275 I have stopped. I have an order sitting there for 275. Okay. So the next uh, work is going to be for me. I need to create a delivery slash n v l zero one. N. The date is fifteen. I'm shipping from three thousand. Enter. Click on picking. Zero picked quantity, warehouse is 3000, go ahead and save it. Go back to your uh, finished product and now let us refresh it. So there is a delivery, 275 for the delivery, okay. So let's go here and uh, let us do the PGI post goods issue. Before we do the post goods issue, I want to show you two things. One is picking, transfer of posting, transfer order already created. The picked quantity is 275. If you click on document flow, you can see the warehouse management transfer order automatically created by the system for me. That means I did not create LT03. That's been taken care automatically. Okay. Then what is the next step for me? The next step is a post goods issue. I need to do the post goods issue. Okay. That's called PGI, post goods issue. We created the sales order VA01, right? And after that, we created VL01M. Then after that, we are creating VL02L, which is post goods issue. Okay, so this is um, this is where we are, right? We need to do the post goods issue, correct? I think I lost the connection. Yeah, I lost the connection. Let me log on again. I lost the connection for some reason. Okay, 
VL02N. Okay, 275 picking. Post goods issue. Okay, it's done. So let's go and take a look at slash and md04. 6926. Now your stock is gone. 275 stock is gone. And your order is also gone. Okay, your order is gone, your stock is gone. Okay. So, your order is gone, stock is gone. Again, you have a planned order of 180. Okay, so uh, this would be, once you produce this, then you will get another 180 stock. Okay. So, that's about... Uh, that's about it. Okay. So let me stop the recording.